the energy that is coming in for this week, I feel like it's a fortuitous um, series of events. So opportunities for a big do-over, opportunities to rectify a situation, off opportunities to do something right. And it's sort of like pressing the rewind button in your life in terms of major recent major decisions that you have made and having an opportunity to kind of um, think it over and possibly fix things or redo things. So I, I, I feel like this is a really, really big week for many of you. The first thing that I want to talk about here is the Wheel of Fortune. And this is sort of like, you know, the chain of events, things um, being put into motion, events, putting things in motion and things moving along. It could be good or bad, but what I feel happening here is there was a situation in your life that became very, very burdensome. I feel like your thoughts were occupied. Your time was occupied doing this thing, managing this thing. And you felt like you had very, very little time for yourself. You felt like your quality of life has greatly diminished as a result of taking on this responsibility. And you also felt like along the way, am I doing the right thing? Is this all in vain? Am I wasting a lot of time? Am I wasting my energy? Am I just wasting resources? And I feel like it's gone to the point where it becomes more of a burden. It might have started out fun and exciting, but I feel like it's becoming more of a burden. And many of you are still, you know, drudging along because uh, the nature of your sign, a fixed sign, is that once you have sunk too much cost into something, it's really hard for you to extract it, extract and, and find your way out. And you guys, Leos, Aquarius, and uh, Scorpios, you all behave in the same way, where if I invest too much time in something, I want to see it to completion. I want it to come to fruition. I don't want to call it quits. So you stubbornly go at it and you stubbornly work through it. And it has been, you know, quite problematic and I feel like very burdensome. This is the week where things start to bear fruit. Are your hard work, are your time and effort and energy, um, you will realize that it was not done in vain. You will realize that, you know, the end is near. It's like that, that light at the end of the tunnel. You're getting snippets of it. You're getting... Uh, information and you're getting guidance that what you did all along was the right thing and it's coming to fruition. I see for some of you uh, there is something where you're either teaching or learning. Okay, You might be teaching somebody and then you're learning from them in the process. That's the way it goes. You might be um, uh, working with younger children. You might be working with people who are new in their field. You might have invested a lot of time on a specific project, on a specific group of people, on a specific person. And um, it, it felt like it was a thankless job. It felt like, it's like you took it upon yourself and it just felt like, when is it going to pay out? When am I going to be able to you know, have things come to fruition. And I feel like this is the week where you're getting that recognition, where you're getting that thanks, where you're seeing the, the people that you're training or teaching or learning from, and they start to show you signs that they've improved, okay? So I feel like uh, with Torian people, you're going to be very, very proud and very happy and very joyful that you're able to make a huge difference, okay? The first card out of the deck here is the Knight of Cups. And um, I'm not reading this so much as a person. This is an energy of uh, a very sincere love, a sincere gesture of love, of affection that's coming from another person towards you. And what it's linked up with here is I have an air sign, an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. The person is in the reverse position. So their walls are coming down. They're doing some type of an outpouring of love towards you. Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. And, and what's coming through here, if you look at this person, um, mixed messages, right? Like look at the two sides to her face. And it can be male or female. The energy is very gender neutral. This is somebody that is a little bit hard to read. 
the things that they do, the things that they say, it's, um, it's hard to decipher. Um, I feel like you, you never knew how this person feels about you. You get snippets of it where there's a mixture of friendship, there's a mixture of play, there's a mixture of affection, and then there's also a mixture of distance and aloofness and, you know, uh, lack of emotion. So there's this constant push and pull energy between you and this person. And so you never knew how they felt about you. And I feel this is a person that has been quite inconsistent with their feelings as well. One minute, they're very close to you, and then the next minute, they act like they don't know you. So this aloofness mixed with this affection, and I feel like they're also very confused about their emotions for you. When it's in the reverse, I get the feeling that the walls are coming down. I get the feeling that there's going to be a lot more heartfelt conversation between you and them. Whether or not you pursue it, that's another story. For some of you, this person makes you feel really happy, Ten of Cups. And I also feel like the communication has been very playful between the two of you. But this is the week where there is an outpouring of emotions, outpouring of affection coming through between you and that person. And next up, we have here the Two of Cups. This is a soulmate connection. This is a very gentle, loving uh, connection that you have with another person where two people are on the same page. They have the same ideals. They have the same plans. And they're looking at each other and trying to build a nest together. Um, so you have a very strong emotional connection here with another person. What is linked up here with the Two of Cups? Whatever conflict has been going on in your relationship, I feel like the conflict is dying down, okay? If there has been like really harsh words, I think this of you, I think that of you, like really, really harsh, harsh words. If there has been somebody that is very combative, you know, for whatever reason, when the two of you communicate, you don't really see eye to eye. And I feel a lot of it has to do with just... um differences in ideologies, differences in the way you operate, stubbornness, a lot of stubbornness. I feel like you're going to be able to overcome it. Okay, so there's a lot of opportunities here this week to rectify situations, to clear up communications, uh, miscommunications, to kind of um, facilitate some type of a mutual understanding between you and another person. So if you've been battling, if you've been fighting, if you've been competing with one another, there's going to be some major, major victory. If you're working on a team, if you're playing some type of a team sport, I see there being a major win. You know, I see people holding up like um, medals or plaques or working on a team effort and then the whole team wins. I also feel like if there's one person in particular that um, it's like a romantic situation where the attraction is really strong and there's just so much um, energy, like the attraction is so intense where there's so much just um, tension, that's going to clear up. And I feel like it's sexual tension. That's going to start to clear up between you and another person. I also feel as well, there is some major good news for those of you who are married regarding your spouse. They might have a big financial windfall coming through. There might have been, you know, like a money left to them or like a major win or some type of a major, a lot of money coming through from a financial institution between you and them. And then it becomes like pulled together in joint, um, in like a joint bank account between the two of you. So the escalation in um, being able to build wealth with your partner, being able to, I see as well, thinking about selling property. And I got that with Aries too. The next card we have here is the two, of, I'm sorry, the five of coins. This is a card about feeling a little bit left out. Feeling like we're unwanted, feeling like we're not appreciated and feeling a little bit down and out and not being able to connect to the right people, connect to the right um, situations and feeling like no one really cares about us. And I feel like for many of you, this is not so much the energy of another person, but it's almost the energy of where you are at right now with your work. Are you still feeling that sense of excitement coming to work? Are you still feeling like 
excited about, you know, learning new things, about testing your skills? Or are you just going through the motions? I feel for many of you, you really want to travel, you want to explore new territories, you want to branch out, and you want something brand new. But there has also been issues when it comes to, you know, stability, building up stability so that you're not worried about, you know, um, making ends meet, paying the rent, paying the mortgage. So I feel like all of these security oriented things, house, children, mortgage, uh, car payments, all of these things that we associate with responsibility, with uh, being an adult, with um, security, you start to realize how much of a hindrance they are and how much they're really um, disallowing you to, you know, uh, freely come and go. And so I see many of you are reassessing your relationships with your material possessions. You're also reassessing your relationships with the material things in your life. And you're reassessing as well what's really important in life. So there is a huge awakening, I feel, when it comes to security and the things that we think are actually secure are the things that really hold us back. Um, I also feel as well, uh, car maintenance, car issues. I also feel they're mentioning here when it comes to the overall career success. I feel like finances is not really the issue. It's more about, you know, am I... Am I maxed out when it comes to my income generating potential? Am I maxed out when it comes to promotions? Um, if yes, do I need to find another job? How much time do I give myself until? So I feel like, you know, you're, you're, you're hitting some type of energy that's telling you to try something new. But the important thing is you kind of need to give yourself a time frame. So rather than putting all this pressure on yourself about changing location, changing jobs, you know, you give yourself, okay, if I, um, why don't I give myself until, you know, January, if the feeling doesn't go away, if that, that internal nudge doesn't go away, then I'll change jobs. If not, then I'll stay where I'm at. So give yourself some leeway. Don't push yourself too hard. And don't push yourself to make any decisions, okay? We are heading into Mercury retrograde on the 17th of this uh, month of November. So give yourself a time frame. Like give yourself two months. Give yourself three months. Rather than pushing yourself when physically, spiritually, and energetically you're not ready. You want it, but I feel like you're not ready just yet. The last card we have here is the Three of Coins. This is a card about collaboration, learning from other people. Um, it's a card about harmony, people working together to build something of value. And I feel like for many of you, we have here the Hierophant. This is learning, researching, picking up new ways of doing. For some of you, there is a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio showed up in the reverse position. Um, I feel like there is, there has been an estrangement between you and this person, okay? Um, so like, they're off doing their own thing, you're off doing your own thing. Some of you might be in a long-term relationship with them and the spark has kind of died out. So you're trying to find ways to re-inject passion and chemistry into the relationship. The other person might be asking you as well, hey, let's, you know, try something new. And you're very conservative, and I feel like you guys are hesitant, are very hesitant. I see a lot of experimentation as well between you and, and this person, like possibly wanting to invite a th another person into your relationship just to, you know, bring back the spark. And I feel like they might be, the, the water sign might be wanting to experiment a little bit. But I feel like you're not, you're, you're, you're not giving them the okay or you're not okay with it or you're thinking about it, but you're testing the waters. For others of you, I feel as if someone feels like you're not emotionally available to them. They want to spend more time with you. They want to communicate more with you. They want to 
work together with you. They want you to be physically, emotionally available to them. And I feel like you're off doing your own thing. If this sounds familiar, I feel like it's a, it's either a family member, a relative, uh, a mother, even somebody who really needs you. They feel a little bit abandoned. They feel emotionally just, um, they don't really have a support network. And if this is the case, you're going to have to make yourself available, okay? Um, I'm seeing as well, for, for those of you with children, there is um, an element here about consulting a specialist. So like you're, you might need to seek out a therapist, a speech therapist, a coach, a counselor, a mentor, uh, something as it relates to children. I see some of you putting your children in school, like in a new school, and so you're going with your children to visit the principal, to visit the teachers, to check out the um, environment, check out the dorms even for those who are, whose kids are going off to college. So I see, I see a lot of these things when it comes to learning college or um, universities or even scoping out a school so that you can enroll your children in. So I hope the reading is helpful for you guys. Um, take care, okay? And um, you have a lot of do-overs for this week. Grab the, these opportunities, okay? Don't let them slip away.